Hello all, I welcome you to this introduction lecture on area movement of inertia. Okay, so let me give a simple introduction about the area movement of inertia. Here, the area movement of inertia is defined as uh, the geometrical property of an area which reflects how its points are distributed with regard to an arbitrary object. So generally, we will calculate the mass movement of inertia for uh, structures. So here, uh, since it is an area, the mass is negligible, so we can calculate the area moment of inertia and it is a geometrical property. So mostly this area moment of inertia is used to define uh, or used to calculate uh, the deflection of uh, any beams. Okay. So the unit for uh, area moment of inertia is uh, either meter power 4 or m power 4. So here, this is an example rectangle which I have considered. Uh, the height is he h and the width is b. So here the i x x uh, that is the area moment of inertia about the x x axis is b h cube divided by 12 and uh, the i y y that is the area moment of inertia about y axis is h b cube divided by 12. So this is i x x and i y y for rectangular section when the centroidal axis uh, coincides with uh, the x axis or the centroidal axis coincides with the y axis. Now, uh, to solve any problem in uh, moment of inertia, we must uh, understand uh, this parallel axis theorem. Okay, so this parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia of a body about an axis parallel to an axis passing through the center of the mass here, the axis is passing through the centroidal axis. But if the axis is not passing through the centroidal axis, then we have to use this parallel axis theorem. So that is what. Uh, uh, mentioned here, then the moment of inertia will be uh, the sum of the moment of inertia of the body about an axis passing through the center of the mass and product of mass and square of distance between the two axes. Okay, so here this is the equation for Ixx and Iyy using the parallel axis theorem. You can take an example uh, structure, composite structure. So this is what the example composite structure I have chosen. So this is. Uh, uh, section number 1 and this is section number 2. Okay, so you just remember this uh, uh, parallel axis theorem. So this is my centroidal point for this first section. But uh, when I calculate the centroidal axis for the composite structure, then this will be my x bar and y bar for the overall uh, section that is combination of 1 and 2. But when you calculate the centroid for this section alone, this will be the centroid. So that is actually x1 bar and y1 bar. Similarly for uh, the second axis, this will be your uh, x2 bar and y2 bar, x2 bar and y2 bar. So this is for the section 2 and this is for the section 1 and this x bar and y bar will be the uh, common uh, centroid uh, for this uh, composite section. So when you calculate the moment of inertia for this L section, uh, you have to calculate the IXX self, that is the IXS for this section alone. So this IXX self is nothing uh, the general equation. So since it is a rectangular, the IXX self will be uh, BH cube divided by 12. Okay, so this is the IXX self. Then plus AI is when you consider the area 1, it is area 1 and YA bar is here the section number is 1 so it is Y1 bar and minus here uh, the Y bar value you can calculate that is actually the centroid so that will be the Y bar the whole square so this is the parallel axis theorem similarly for IYY IYY is equal to IYY self so when you consider the section number 1 the IYY self uh, will be HB cube divided by 12 so HB cube divided by 12 plus a i is when you consider section 1 a is a1 and uh, uh, xi bar is uh, this point the centroid for the section 1 minus the x bar x bar value okay so that is how you have to calculate the ixx and iyy for uh, the composite structures okay so now before approaching a problem this is the procedure for calculating the centra, moment of inertia. First, you have to calculate the centroid of individual sections that is uh, x1, y1, x2 and y2. Then, uh, the next step is centroid of composite section that is your x bar and y bar. 
the third step is moment of inertia self self moment of inertia uh, that is uh, bh cube by 12 or hb cube by 12 so here this is a rectangular section so it is bh cube or hb cube so similarly for uh, different uh, cross sections uh, the formula is attached in the description you can see that for your reference then the fourth step is uh, ay y a bar minus y bar square uh, to use the parallel axis theorem you have to calculate this uh, uh, x i bar x bar y a bar and y bar then the final last step will be you have to add the moment of inertia of self and uh, the multiplication of your area and uh, the distance between x bar and x i bar to get the moment of inertia of cross section okay in my next lecture uh, i'll teach you how to solve a simple problem uh, to calculate the moment of inertia thank you